Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Middleton Motorsports. It's been a little while since our last vlog. We have a whole bunch of updates to share with you. Check out our podcast. Chuck and I have done two podcasts. We have a new website up, middletonmotorsports.com, and check out our new merch. We're standing here in front of an F-250. This is a, just a simple wheels and tire package on a used 2022 F-250. We also have this GT500 over here, this 2008 GT500. We put Petter lowering springs, pan hard bar on, but check out the stand spray, and I think it, it looks pretty cool. I think the back still has a little bit too much rake, but overall, much better than where, where we were. Inside the shop, we have a whole bunch of new stuff going on. We'll take you through it now. Hey, check this out. I hear Mike's got some really cool parts for the E36 that just came in. He's gonna have to explain it because I have no idea what it is. We also got uh, headers in from our ceramic coater. These are the headers off of the GT500. I think in an earlier video, you can check back to when I did a comparison of this header versus the stock GT500 header. It's night and day. It's completely different actually. But most importantly, outside of this, is this incredible part here. Um, Mike, you're gonna do a much better job explaining what this is than I am, but it looks awesome. The main reason I'm switching to this manifold is uh, th these runners are, are shorter than the factory ones, which should yield like a higher um, RPM peak power, but it also corrects the injection angle. So these injectors are gonna spray directly on the back of the valves instead of spraying on the, the ports and the cylinder heads. Should help uh, atomize the fuel better and give us uh, more top end power. So we'll see what happens. We're kind of between builds. We have one build in the shop right now. That is a white GT500. That is getting our MM900R package. So if you check out our website, MiddletonMotorsports.com. You can see all the different builds, what it consists of, and kind of the starting price. But this will deliver 900 wheel horsepower after we're done. We are about, I don't know, halfway through uh, on the build. He, he had purchased a JLT cold air intake from us prior so that we're retaining that. Ported supercharger, so Joker's port on the supercharger. The VMP Apex Predator cooler and lid. American Racing two inch headers. Again, on a lot most of these road racing builds, we're, we're sticking with the stock supercharger pulling. This car is E85, so we do change the fuel rails and fuel injectors, 900, 900 horsepower to the tires. Again, rounding it out with the R package, rear suspension mod, so we do a rear cradle lockout, differential lockout, tow links and uh, upper camber arms, and that really locks the rear end in, makes the cars way more stable. Uh, coming out of corners makes the alignments a little bit easier, and we can get a little bit of more negative camber out of the rear, which again, with these heavier cars, you know, if we have more negative camber, lets the car have a lot more lateral grip. Hey Matt, I got a question for you. Yeah. So I get all these emails, you know, <laughs> through our website. I got this one. I think I'll read it. And you're, if you're watching out there, you'll know it's you. Hey Jim, can I turn a 2019 Mustang GT into a GT500? Whoa, with, with the same Coyote 5.0 engine, which is not the same. Can you, can you get a GT so, to something similar? I think, I mean, I think two, spot, two right. big things that make right. the 500 special is the engine, the Predator 5.2. Right. And for me, the first time I ever drove one of these cars was the dual clutch yeah. transmission. The, the, the seven speed dual clutch, I just, that's yeah. kind of what made it for me. Was Absolutely. The 500. And then obviously like the suspension's a little different, but yeah, could we do that? Yes, we, we could. could. We could do DCT swap, and but I think by the time you got done, you'd have more money in that versus just selling that selling car it. and buying one right. of these. The GT500s are just, you know, the Magna Ride right. is special tuning and yeah. Um, well, if you have another minute, we have another cool car in the shop. We have a factory five. Oh, Cobra. sure. Yeah. If you can maybe take the group through, the audience yeah, through that. We'll take Let's go that. take a look at it. We have it over in the yeah. other, other side of the shop here. Factory five uh, is a company that builds these Shelby. Basically, it's a kit car. So they've really evolved them over the years to, to this like hydroformed round tube frame with independent rear and front suspension, double wishbone in the front. Um, Real nice tubular IRS setup in the back. It actually uses like a 2015 and up Mustang 88 center section, like the rear end, the renters, uh, rear end center housing. So this guy has gone fully modern with it, and this has a Gen 3 Coyote 5 liter in it and a T56 Magnum transmission. So it's kind of cool with it, with the skin off of it, with the body off of it. You can kind of get an idea of kind of the whole inner workings of a project like this. This guy and his, his friends built this car in a garage. They brought it down here for us to set up uh, the suspension. So we actually have scales, a scale per wheel. We jack the car up, put the scares on the wheels, drop the car back down, and then we can basically see how much weight is on each corner, and we can adjust the, the ride height from there and get, get it basically so, when, and you can see we have some, some sandbags to kind of simulate weight of the body and weight of the driver. 
um, so we can get that corner scaling really close. And that's, it's important, you know, with fully adjustable suspension to get that close so when you're on track, the car's balanced correctly. And he's so, hoping to take this out on Road America. Yeah, so he's, like, yeah, he so he, uh, he told us, we asked him, yes. we always ask customers, one of the most important questions when somebody brings us a car or commissions a build through us is, what's your intent? What do right. you want to do with a car? Is it a street car, track car, both? Drag race, road race. So that's our first question. So he did say, I want to be able to mainly street drive, yeah, mainly but street, I do but occasional track. I want to so. take it to a track and race it. So, you know, with that in mind, we're going to set the car up as far as, you know, the balance of the car and the alignment for that purpose. So he's actually going to bring it back to us when he gets the body on it, and we're going to put it on the dyno and then dyno tune it. Yeah, kind of an exciting little project we got. Yeah, it's, it garnered <laughs> a lot of smiles here, oh, yeah. as well as for our customers. Yeah. So. Hopefully we'll see more of this at, with Middleton Motorsports. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.